today's a special one uh, in that today we are doing it in partnership with PATH. So looking forward to a really robust discussion on this critical question of how do we ensure continuity of essential health services beyond the pandemic. Today, we thought we should actually look at disruption of essential services. Is there a window opportunity for the government to take this, this COVID-19 pandemic and build back better or bounce forward? What do you see looking from an you know, um, international program's point of view? I would argue that the deep inequities that have been brought to light during this pandemic are not anomalies to the world health system. They are unfortunately a built-in feature of the current design. You know, whether we're talking about COVID-19, um, HIV, TB, malaria, you name it. For such a response and to have a resilient health system, uh, a decentralized and strong uh, primary health care uh, with a very strong capacity at the lowest level is critical and that requires investment. Instead of just uh, helping with basic primary health, maybe they can go one level forward and help with basic diagnostics, basic prescriptions and so on, assuming the right regulations, oversight, etc. is put in place. So, so technology can help the, the community health worker do more. We know that COVID has shocked health systems and, and put at risk so some of the progress that we're already making towards achieving those goals, including yeah. universal health coverage. People from the community fear to seek health services just because they fear to get tested. Because they think when they get tested and get uh, and they are positive of COVID-19, then they will be locked up. As community health workers, it's a challenge because some fellow community health workers are also in fear. They're also fearing to meet people and educate them. They're saying, no, we need surgical masks. The next one is on the question of youth and COVID and Africa. So it should be similarly stimulating and exciting. So please sign up, please dial in.